okay welcome back to the channel so today is the day we're going to do our first little test following the ceramic coating that I did the other week went out yesterday up to the Trough of Boland you might have seen the video and the bike's filthy so I'm going to show you the bike now in its current state I'm literally just going to do a snow foam wash it and see if we can pick up any evidence that it was worth £60 to put the ceramic coating on and uh, whether it's going to help with the washing of the bike so um, here we go okay so here's the bike let's just have a quick look at the the muck that's all over this bike I've seen it worse but you can obviously see all the muck the wheels are particularly grimy it was just a horrible slushy day when we got over to the uh, North Yorkshire Moors obviously the swing arm was filthy the chain guards filthy uh, it's more the back of the bike really where all the muck is and on the front where you'd expect so anyway the front looks not too bad but let's give it a go and see uh, see what it looks like after we've done it Okay, right, so we've now snow foamed the bike. Um, one thing I have noticed is that the water did run off very, very quickly. It sort of beaded and just poured off into what left uh, appeared to be sort of dry, dry panels. So anyway, I'm gonna rinse off the snow foam, give it a, a sponge wash, and we'll see what it's like at the end. Okay, so I've literally just um, rinsed it off with a jet wash before I actually sponge wash. But a lot of people are saying you actually don't need to sponge wash it after you've done this. And I have to say, it's not perfect, but it actually is really good. Yeah. It must be isn't coming across on the, the video. Video? <laughs> on the camera. But if I was in a rush and didn't want to wash by hand, this looks pretty darn good. I am going to wash it by hand with a, a sponge and uh, pH neutral. What do I use? I use, um, what do I use? Let's have a look. I use auto glim. So uh, yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Anyway, let's do a bucket wash and see what it's like at the end. Yeah, so while the, um, the bucket's filling up in the utility room, one thing I've realised, with this being the first bike where I had with a centre stand, and, my, and, and with me always saying I'll never have a bike with a centre stand, I've realised how bloody useful it really is. Because what I've got here now, compared to what I used to have, I've obviously got my front paddock stand on the front, elevate the front. I then have a rear paddock stand, but with this, it's ace. It's so versatile. The bike is on the centre stand, stand in the garage. It feels more stable. It doesn't move, so I'm, I'm, I'm less concerned about it getting knocked in the garage. It's so easy to put on the centre stand after first. Oh, there's the dog chasing chasing the swans. Yeah brave dog I bet you wouldn't know what to do with them if you caught them but yeah really pleased with the centre stand on it uh, first couple of days I was really nervous about the weight of the bike now it, it got, I do it without even thinking so really useful that is for sure
Okay, so what I normally do now is get the bike running, let the engine heat up, steam off, and it, particularly around the electrics, and I'll actually blow dry it, <laughs> give it a perm. Uh, anyway, on to the last and final stage. attention to the switch gear, the brakes and the engine area, uh, blow all the water away from areas that I can't get at uh, by hand, uh, but yeah, all good, uh, come back in a second and I'll um, just um, lube the chain. Okay, so, all done, uh, that's a, I've, I've rushed it a little bit there today, um, but I have to say, it's cleaned up easily. Uh, if I'm completely honest, can I see a significant difference in being easy to clean? The answer is no. Um, it was easy though, it came off pretty much 90% of it all, 95% came off with the jet wash. So I think, had the bike been a lot dirtier, uh, I've, only, you know, I've only been out for two, three hours yesterday through the Chopper Bowland, which is sort of Yorkshire. Uh, uh, North Yorkshire, sort of um, uh, uh, Lancashire border area, uh, up and down some single track country roads and the like. It was a bit of grime and grit coming up onto the bike, but not as bad as it has been. So I think it's been worthwhile so far doing it for the cost of the time it took to put it on. Um, I think is looks as good as it should. Missed a few bits here with me rushing. But um, again, with the blower, that, I bought that a few years ago, and I really think that's a worthwhile addition to your toolbox for keeping the, your bike maintained well. It just blows away a lot of the moisture in the water from those hard to reach, difficult to see places in the engine bay itself, around the calipers and brakes, around the rear hubs, um, and particularly around all your switch gear. Uh, because these are prone for water ingress so blowing them out is a lot better than just drying the surface so yeah so um, last but not least I'm going to put my chain lube on which I do pretty much every ride out or no less than or no, no more than 200 miles before I do this so this is the worth High performance dry chain lube. I hate the, the greasy, waxy white stuff that a lot of the um, garages do and dealers do. I've been using this for, well, as long as I've been riding. It doesn't leave any grit. It doesn't seem to pick up dirt, which is why I don't like the waxy stuff, because even though it's meant to lubricate the chain, because it's waxy, it does pick up grit and keep and holds it. This tends not to. And again, one of the benefits of having the centre stand so quite easily it's a case of if I just put the camera down it's a case of literally spinning the wheel and on we go there we go so I'm not sure how conclusive that was in terms of uh, reviewing the impact of putting this hammock coating on. Um, I think it was worthwhile. It has come up nice, it's come up easy, there's no stubborn stains, there's no stubborn marks. It's pretty much all off with the jet wash and the snow foam and obviously just peace of mind using the, the sponge. Anyway, um, hope it's been of use and value. Uh, I enjoy doing these just for the fun of doing them and the editing process which I enjoy. Uh, can't wait to get back on the bike. Thanks for supporting the channel and catch you all soon. Cheers guys.